how to negotiate prices with a new supplier. Hi guys, welcome back. In this week's video, I want to talk to you about how to negotiate the price with a new supplier, either on Alibaba or on any other sourcing platform here in China. Make sure you watch the video until the end because I'm sure that by the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of how to negotiate the best price for your business. But before we get to it, don't forget to click that button to subscribe, leave me a comment and share this video. All right, so I talked to one of my students that have taken my courses and she asked me a very interesting question about how to negotiate prices. As many of you probably have noticed, the price on Alibaba, the one that you see on the page is usually just not the right price. And I've seen other people struggling for this. Recently, somebody reached out to me because they placed an order. They wanted to do a little modification of the product and the MOQ rise exponentially. They went from a few hundred pieces to thousand pieces and also the price. And another person reached out because they saw the product, they saw the price. And once they were ready to place the order, the quotation went like very high. The price of the product was like 20, 30% more of what they thought it was going to be this video. Because I want to give you a better understanding what you're looking at when you're sourcing on Alibaba. What, why is that price there? And also how you can negotiate a better price once you find a product that you really like. The first thing is that you need to understand that the price that you see on Alibaba is a clickbait price. It's just for you to be interested. Because right now, a lot of people still believe that if you buy from China, it has to be the cheapest. Therefore, they immediately click, probably you have done it yourself, to the product that has the cheapest price. After a while, you will realize that all the products, when you're going through the page, look the same. Sometimes they even have the same photo. So it's not really reliable. And they go for the cheapest. They see a product that is $10, and then they see a product that is $8, and they go for $7, and probably they click on the $7. That's just not correct. Also, you need to understand that some of the prices there might be for the product in stock and not for the product that you want to do if there is any kind of modification because there are two kinds of products that you can buy from China. The one that is already designed by the manufacturer or the one that is designed by you. And of course, the price will be different. Once you have to find what do you want to buy, do you want to buy a product that is designed by you? Then when you reach out to a customer, then when you reach out to a manufacturer, you need to provide all the information. My suggestion is that you select three to four suppliers that understand or are closer to understand the product that you want, or they even have a similar product of that what you want and talk to them first. Don't consider the price of the live about as a final price, but just as a reference price of where they can start, or what they can offer. Once you reach out to them, provide the specification of your product and ask them for the MOQ, ask them for the quantities based on those specifications. Usually they will tell you if it's in stock, they might be 10 pieces, 20 pieces, 30 pieces. But if it's something that you want to design, then they will give you an MOQ probably of 1,000 or 3,000, depending on the product. Once you get that price, give them more volume. So you have three or four references in different volumes. This is an example. They give you a price first for 1,000 pieces. Then you can ask for 2,000 and then for 3,000. And that way you will see what's the capacity, what the best price they can provide based on those quantities. And you negotiate with a lower volume or with the volume that you want closer to the price that you want. The idea here is that you start by getting information that will empower you to understand what's the best offer that this manufacturer can give you. And if you compare from three to four manufacturers, it will help you to have more options and of course, to get to know the product that you want. Remember that you need to give the specifications of your product exactly as you want. Don't worry to share your information if it's a genetic product. Don't provide full design documents unless you are already talking with the manufacturer that you want to work with. Then you can share images, you can share sizes, you can share quantity, you can share materials because that information is key to understand better how to do manufacture. Also, you should have a reference cost of what you want, an ideal. And this is by reverse engineering your price. Try to understand your customers, your competitors, and get a little more information so you can define what's the best cost for you based on the profit that you want to get. So negotiate with the suppliers once you have the full information, once you have the quantity, and once you know exactly the product that you want to produce. This is a quick video where I want to help you to do this negotiation. Share this video with somebody you can find it helpful. See you next week.